Okay, one other thing I wanted to show you really quickly here that's really handy. Uh, students in class seem to think it was a great idea as well. I'm back in Opposing Viewpoints in Context, if you don't recognize it. So it's one of the articles I had checked on before. So remember, I had downloaded it to my Google Drive. There are various things I can do with that. But one other tool that you can use here that is now hooked up with some of the databases is if I click on Citation Tools. Remember, I copied and pasted this before into a Word document. That works really well, but you can also export it to EasyBib. If you've never used EasyBib before, I would recommend setting up a free account simply because then you can have your own projects. So you'll notice I have a project here that I've created for this, just Protest Project 2017. So I can save things into this project if I'm working on multiple days. And that is. Let me get that off. That is also going to be useful because you're not going to be finding all your sources on one day. So I now have this started. It'll start it as, you know, basically for now, it's in my project, Protest Project 2017. However, if you have that set up, you start a different day and you're not logged in, it probably won't come up as your project. It'll just come up as new project and it'll have that date. But you just click these, you can click X, or excuse me, you can click with checked and you can copy it into another project. That'll copy it in there. You'll have that choice. But if I go back to posing viewpoints and context, say, OK, I'm kind of done with that one. Maybe I want to look at something in global issues and context. I can go there as well. And you'll remember this is the, the same interface because it's a Gale site as well. So I find something here. This one looks interesting, something about British Columbia. Always love British Columbia, so I'll use that. Again, go to Citation Tool. Once again, I could copy and paste it, but I have this option going to EasyBib and exporting. So you'll see it here. One nice thing about this as well that I'll point out in a second, but just assume this is my project that I have, I've been adding things in here and this could be going on for four, five, six sessions of research. And then along with that, ProQuest, you can also bring citations from ProQuest in here. What I can then do is export it. I like doing it as a Word doc, but you could also do it as a Google doc. And then you can download it and you'll see the nice thing about this is it creates your entire work cited page for you and it it fixes a lot of things that you might have to fix on your own with doing it yourself by copying and pasting. So you'll see it gives it the title, has all the information you need. It's got the database titles, all of that. It alphabetizes them. One thing that I really like about this as well is if you go back to this, this is the one that you would copy and paste if you were just going to copy and paste it. You'll notice that the capitalization, like I pointed out in the other video, the capitalization is not even close. It's basically like APA format. It's got the first word. All these other ones need to be capitalized. If you go back, this is the Works Cited page created by EasyBib. It fixes the capitalization for you. And I've, I've done this a few different times and I've seen it. It works pretty much every time. So you might want to, of course, go through it. You always want to make sure everything is as it should be. But it takes care of that for you, which is really nice, really handy. Then you have this, I mean, basically you'll just add this to the end of your document like you would with one that you created from making your own or copying and pasting. But EasyBib's really nice that way. And again, if I logged out and went back to it the next day, it'll still be there. You know, if I just go back to before I exported it, you'll see it's still there. So if I decide to add something, I can re you know, create a new works cited page and it'll include any new ones, new citations that I have on there. So hopefully you'll find that useful as well. And by all means, use it if you need to. If you have any questions about it, just come talk to me when you come back to class.